Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush. And today I have another botanical for you. This one is a blue jay and grapes. You can see I start with my light pencil sketch. After I have my okayed uh, photographic reference, And of course, all these little grapes are going to take time to sketch in, but I'm not going to take you through all of that. As soon as they're all sketched, then I go back and with watercolor, I lightly outline everything. And then I can erase all of my pencil lines. On the grapes I'm using a lot of blues. Um, I'm using ultramarine blue, intense blue, Prussian blue, indigo. I'm using diazonine violet and purple lake, cadmium red, cadmium orange, lemon yellow, uh, hooker green, sap green, and unfortunately the footage of my first layer of, of uh, color that I put in here uh, got corrupted or lost or something. So this is the second layer always work in layers. Don't try and put all of the color down in one swoop or, or the um, finished product will look very dull. It's watercolor. It's very translucent, meaning the light will actually shine through it and bounce off of the paper at the bottom, giving it a luminous quality which is why watercolor is so sparkly and um, bright it is it's luminous now as you can see each globe each grape has to be painted separately and so they don't bleed together I jump around the page a lot does look random but there is method in my madness because if you painted one next to another they would bleed together and there wouldn't be um, definition there wouldn't be um, a fine line between each one on my blue jay you can see I'm using intense blue and ultramarine blue and violet, diazonine violet and indigo, not black. Don't use black. You, know, the, um, the black that comes in watercolor tubes is called lamp black, quite literally made from the soot of lamps. Blech. <laughs> and it's very lifeless. It's a dull, um, icky color that just never has any life of its own. So instead, I always use indigo, and if indigo isn't quite dark enough, I'll just layer other colors on top of it, some diazonine violet and some green, and it will be a nice, deep, dark, rich, almost black with life to it.
as you can see, I take frequent breaks to let my hand rest. The, um, the arthritis is annoying, but not unmanageable. Um, it just means I have to stop, let my hand breathe, go about my business, do something else for a little, and then come back to it. it means I have to get up and do the laundry or... <laughs> Sometimes I'll stop and I'll work on a collage for a little bit. It's not um, using small motor skills in my hand, like pinching this little brush is. And then I can come back to this in half an hour and my hand feels much better. Not like the days when I used to be able to paint for eight hours straight, not even knowing what time it was until I looked up. <laughs> Oh, those were the good old days. I can't do that anymore. My hand will not allow it. The pain gets to be too great. You can see no two grapes are exactly alike. Each one has its own combination of blue, violet, green, red, even a little orange. If I painted them all the same color, even with shadows, it would all start to look very flat. And grapes don't grow that way. So this takes a long time, but it looks pretty good in the end. Actually, you can even see the torn pieces of paper up there in the corner <laughs> where as soon as my hand starts to cramp up I'll pull those down and work on a collage for a little bit. A little more definition in a little bird. Almost there. And that's the final Blue Jay with Grapes. I do hope you enjoyed this one. It's not perfection, but it was fun. Thanks for watching. I do hope you subscribe and check out some of my links below. Have a great day, everyone. Do come again. Bye now.